Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly vlog. I am so excited because this week I'm heading home to Ireland and I haven't been home since Christmas. I literally just uh, got my verification on the Verify app. I'll talk more about that later, but um, it's the new app partnership that BA has for meeting any of your pre-travel requirements. So including like if you have to do a COVID test before you take off, etc. So I've just got my green ticks on every part of that. So I'm good to fly tomorrow. I was getting a bit nervous. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm so excited and I'm so excited to take you guys with me. It's actually Thursday today. I'm starting the weekly vlog late because, um, well, one, because the week just got away from me. <laughs> but then two, uh, two, uh, I am, we'll take you guys with me on the journey. So like, you know, I'll have more uh, footage, you know, from the airport and all that sort of stuff. So if I had vlogged every day, it probably would have been super, super long. So um, I'm actually just getting myself organized and Pumba organized because we're going to head to my boyfriend's because Pumba's gonna stay with my boyfriend while I go home to Ireland. So um, it's the first time I've ever had to travel with like suitcase and Pumba. So um, I am getting a taxi. I'm gonna get like an, Uber. actually I'm gonna get a Bolt. I don't know if any of you guys have started using Bolt. It's actually a bit cheaper than Uber, like on the first subject. And they've got some good sign up offers. If I have a link or whatever, I'll leave it below. But like there's loads of cars around. It's basically like an Uber, but you know how like when you sign up to Uber, you get good offers anyway. I'm procrastinating now. <laughs> so yeah, Pumba is ready, I'm ready. Uh, I'm just gonna order my taxi, head to my boyfriend's, and then tomorrow we're gonna head to the airport together. My flight's at half eight, nice and early. Um, I believe the airport lounge is open, the BA lounge, so might take a little dabble in there. Um, and yeah, I've taken tomorrow off work, so I'm off Friday, uh, home Saturday, Sunday. I was supposed to come back Monday evening, but unfortunately my flight was canceled and now the only flight is Monday morning. Uh, so I'm flying back Monday morning. I'm also off Monday. It's not super early flight, it's like quarter to 11, so it's not too bad. But anyway, um, I'm gonna get myself organized out the door and um, I'll probably catch you guys now en route to the airport. <laughs> Saw you looking my way. I start to contemplate moments that went to waste. I Why you do that? You drop me like who that? And put me through that. My baby is useless. I'm living my life. Don't need to remind me feeling just fine. One of a kind. Who better than I? Hey, 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 oh, oh, oh. Shot you don't play that game. Shot you don't play that game. I won't keep you safe. Time that I'll be. Just like having an emotional breakdown in the airport. I'm in Dublin um, and my uh, dad should be picking me up outside. So, <laughs> right, guys, so I'm just waiting for my dad to pick me up. I was actually like having a full on cry, like on the walk from the plane <laughs> outside. I'm feeling okay now, but yeah, I'm just like so, so excited to get home. Oh, so, yeah, my dad should be here in a sec. And um, yeah, then mom and Rachel will be at home. Literally, honestly, I just have like this ball of emotion in my chest. Um, I can't even talk about it. <laughs> you guys know, like, this has literally been the longest I've gone since not, like, without seeing my family. Um, I think my sister's gonna be, like, on a work call, and I'm wondering if, it, like, can I still burst in and give her a hug? Like, <laughs> oh god, what am I like? <laughs> Hello! 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 So it is later on in the evening. I'm in some new pajamas because my mum and dad got me Dumbo pajamas. Anyway, <laughs> mum, <are> you okay? <laughs> 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 that was mum snorting in the back end. Oh, look, she 
Can you compose yourself now? Well, it's what have you got to say about Mammy, what's picture? on your top? Girdler, girdler. No, we haven't had girdler, girdler yet. Um, Chinese. We had Chinese. So yeah, we had Chinese um, and we're now about to have... <laughs> okay, so Rachel would like to show you her new necklace before we proceed with anything yeah. else. Go ahead. There we go. Okay, thanks. <laughs> there cannot be background talk. My camera is not capable of that sort of... What you call it? Yeah, no. Now what you call it when you focus on just the close sounds? I don't focus know. Focus on noise. the close sounds. Background noise. Background noise. I can't get rid of the background noise. Right. Would you like to say thank you to all the lovely people that were saying happy birthday? Yeah. Well then. <laughs> it's okay. Our, me and Mam have already cried on the camera today. <laughs> Yeah, what was that though? I just was a bit emotional. <laughs> I should just have like an intro clip to this vlog, so which funny. is just everybody crying. Yeah, but I'm crying because I'm so funny. <laughs> what, did you... <laughs> what did you do that was funny? You asked her, did she want to thank everybody for the birthday present? And she did. Yeah. <laughs> On a birthday. Thanks. <laughs> so now that we've had Chinese and calmed down a little bit, um, we're having. You heard us saying girdler lurls in the background, but that's just what we call girdellies. Um, because originally, me and Rachel knew there was this chocolate shop in Disney, but we had no idea how to pronounce the name. So it then became girdler and then it's extended to girdler lurls. <laughs> Read about it in triple court. And we like, call it. Even, like, yeah. There. Yeah, because like when we were first getting into, like, I guess, what, like, hearing about other people's Disney trips, it was all written because it was all on Diz boards. And so you don't hear people say things. So a lot of things we would read and then you think in your head what the pronunciation is, but then we actually realized it was something <laughs> totally different. There was a few of them. Oh, a Curtis as well was another one. Yeah, we were like, as <laughs> That was our fault. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And obviously one of us had just like read it and then forgotten like how it was actually spelled or whatever, then just said it to the other person, then that just became what it was known as. Um, but anyway, girdler lurdles. Um we still have some peppermint bark. Now these are sent over from uh Jen for Christmas. Um and I haven't been home since Christmas, so um somehow Rachel has managed to keep them safe. So thank you, Rachel. Um but yeah, we've got some snowmen. We've got one left of the little packets of the regular squares. We've got a bar and we've got, how did we manage to save all this? A dark chocolate. I, I know Jen did send us lots of peppermint bark though because I specifically asked for it. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna try the dark one which we've never tried before. So let's crack into that. Hey guys, <laughs> it is Saturday morning and I just finished a really intense workout. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna go jump in the shower. Uh, Rachel was actually upstairs. We got um, an exercise bike. It's not like a Peloton, but I guess it's a similar concept. You have a subscription, you do classes and stuff. So she just did one of her classes. She's gone in for a shower. And uh, I just stayed down here and did a strength workout. <sighs> but I finished with abs and it was just awful. <laughs> um, but it's done now. I feel great for it. And I literally have no plans for the rest of the evening. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go have a shower. Hopefully Rachel's out of the shower and then uh, we're literally gonna have such a chill day. Oh, so me and Rachel started listening to the You Got Served soundtrack. If any of you guys were watching the vlog last week, you know, I was like talking about having an impromptu dance session and how I was thinking about dance battles and stuff. Um, so we were thinking we might actually watch it. Um, so yeah, I literally haven't watched that movie in so long. One of you guys actually commented saying the same thing about you got served. Sorry, my mom's just scooping ice into her drink outside. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I will uh, go for a shower and um, yeah, we're gonna have a nice chilled day, which I'm very much looking forward to. Guys, our PlayStation has a difficulty <laughs> distinction between me and Rachel. So it thinks right now that Rachel is me. Then wait, hold on. So you stay there as me and see if it thinks that I'm you. Oh, it doesn't think I'm anybody. Hello. Oh, I'm Rachel. <laughs> Rachel. Now I'm myself again. No, <laughs> now you're me. <laughs> Come on, Blasey. <laughs> it's face recognition is uh, struggling with the L sister jeans. 
Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Buzzy. Hey, you want to see who else is up? Hello. Not having any of it. I'm just trying. <laughs> Come on. Oh, let's go. You have to go outside. <laughs> Good bad legs. He's really milking this, isn't he? <laughs> I love that. Oh, go on, bud. Good Come boy. On, Good morning. Sadly, it is my last day already. It's Monday morning. It's actually a bank holiday here in Ireland, but it's not back in the UK. But I have taken today off. So, uh, yeah, but my flight is early. I actually had booked a later flight so that I'd have the whole day today, but then BA um, cancelled it last week. So the only flight they have out today is in the morning. So it's not super early. It's 10.45. So I'm going to go down and have a lovely breakfast with the family and then, yeah, head to the airport but it's fine because I'm going to come back very soon. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to have a good bit of time off. So I'm thinking of maybe driving over, um, possibly when my boyfriend's feeling a bit more up to some travel and we can take Pumba over so he can meet Buzz. Um, but if that's not going to happen for a couple of months, I might just come back over myself in between and fly again. So yeah, because uh, my flight experience has been really good. I didn't really talk about it um, actually after the flight, but my flight was super quiet. A third full, the airport was so quiet and just straightforward. I was in the lounge, like flying from Heathrow was really nice, even though Heathrow is not the most convenient airport for me. It's a lovely airport to go to to fly, especially right now uh, with everything going on. So yeah, so it'll be interesting to see what it's like flying from Ireland because um, there's not a lot of flights right now from Ireland because um, as an Irish uh, resident, you're not allowed to like travel abroad really. I mean, the UK is kind of the same apart from a very, very limited <laughs> list. Ireland has always been okay for UK residents to fly to. It's just that Ireland has, has had restrictions on people arriving from the UK. So yeah, anyway, um, I'm gonna go downstairs, enjoy a nice breakfast and uh, I'll probably catch you guys at the airport. Um, but yeah, it's been such a lovely trip. I know I've not vlogged too much. Um, that always happens. I always have plans thinking I'll like get loads of footage when I'm home, but then, especially right now, because I'm not going out anywhere. Like we're just sat at home having really nice family time. And so I don't really think to th take the camera out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs because my dad's making a nice breakfast. Buzz, how's your apple? <laughs> <laughs> now, We've got scrambled eggs and half pounds and coffee. Buzz. Buzz, <laughs> you gonna miss me? You gonna miss me? Hey? He's like, no, no. Where's the food? <laughs> He's ready to go for his W A L K. saying goodbye to my family. I've actually um, edited this vlog and I was like laughing and crying while editing it. Um, it was just like, it was just such a mix of emotions. Obviously I was so emotional when I was getting off the plane and then like seeing, you know, when I arrived at my um, house, so like seeing my mom and Rachel and all, um, and my dad obviously picking up from the airport and then seeing Buzz as well. Yeah, and then seeing everybody saying goodbye at the end, like, oh my God. Uh, but then also it was just like, I just had so much, just so much fun being home, it was just really nice. Um, but I've got lots of plans to see my family over the next few months. So um, yeah, I feel a lot 
better knowing that I have got plans, you know? So I'm gonna go back to Ireland myself. They're hopefully each gonna come over here on separate trips as well. Uh, so yeah, it's a lot to look forward to. Um, I was so excited to get back and see Pumba as well. Um, I honestly missed him, even though it was only a few days. Like I literally spent every day with this little guy. Uh, so yeah, and I was excited to see my boyfriend and stuff as well, obviously. But um, I've got a super busy week ahead, uh, which you'll see in next week's weekly vlog. I'm um, just actually seeing some friends and stuff. Um, yeah, and it's beautiful weather, so there'll be lots to do outside. Uh, but I wanted to just have a quick chat. I realized, because I edited this vlog, um, I realized that I didn't like fill you guys in on some stuff because I was kind of just picking the camera up randomly. Um, so I did take, I think I mentioned, I took a, I had to take a COVID test before I went to Ireland um, and I had to get a fit to fly cert. So I had to do that privately. And um, BA have an app called Verif, well, it's not their app. They partner with the app called Verifly. You can upload everything to that app, you fill in all your information and then you basically get a green tick. So you know that you've completed all the requirements which include like uploading your tests, completing some forms and then answering a sort of like yes, no questionnaire thing which just asks you if you've had symptoms in the last few days and stuff. Um, so that was good because I knew going to the airport that all my documents, like everything had been checked. Um, but my it was never actually checked. <laughs> and I don't know if that's because um, Ireland's in the common travel area and so there was no restriction on UK people, um, like UK residents traveling back and forth between Ireland, but it was checked when I arrived in Ireland at passport control. But um, I've heard that they, like I know Ryanair um, were actually checking before you got on board. And actually that's what it says. If you check the Irish website, it says that you'll be checked before you board, but BA didn't check. Um, and I don't think it it's properly linked to the app. So I don't think that's because I did the app. Nobody at the gate was getting stopped or anything. And the, the app was only optional. You could have just brought your documentation, but it didn't seem like anybody was being checked. So I don't know, that was just um, something I noticed. Uh, but obviously then it was checked on the Irish side. Um, so yeah, they checked my fit to fly cert and then I had to do a passenger locator form. Um, but it was all pretty smooth. You know, I think, you know, I obviously have an Irish passport as well. So they didn't really ask any questions. They just checked that I had my form and that I had my test. And then there would have been the option to get a follow-up test in Ireland after five days if I wanted to be able to like just go out and, you know, like meet people, go to shops, etc. But I wasn't there for five days, so I didn't do that. I just stayed at home. Um, and yeah, then coming back, there's no restrictions. So um, the UK doesn't have any requirements for people traveling from Ireland. And um, although they did check my passport coming off the plane, and I think what they were trying to check for there is to check if people had actually used Ireland as a loophole to perhaps come into the UK. And um, because if you had flown to Ireland and then flown from Ireland to the UK, um, and they didn't have any checks, you then wouldn't have to quarantine or whatever. So um, I think plus they saw my passport was Irish, they just sort of waved me on, so that's fine. But they were stopping some people getting off the plane in the UK. Um, yeah, so all of that was grand. Um, the Irish airport was super quiet, um, lots of things closed, couldn't get a coffee or anything. Um, but that's fine, like Boots was open and stuff. So, and obviously there's restrictions, there's more restrictions in Ireland right now on travel. You're not supposed to travel at all. Um, so yeah, that's understandable why their airport didn't have as much open and stuff. Oh, oh and I meant to say the dark chocolate, Ghirardelli, peppermint bark, nicer than the milk chocolate. Never thought I would say that. Also, my sister was very pessimistic about it because she doesn't really like dark chocolate and she also agreed that it was better. Don't know what it is about it. I think it's because, I guess like American chocolate's a lot sweeter anyway. So then having it dark, and it wasn't proper, it wasn't bitter dark chocolate. I actually just thought it was so much nicer. So thanks Jen for putting that one in there. Um, Cause yeah, I thought I wasn't gonna like it as much, but I liked it more. So now I know that's my new favorite. It's gonna be a good bit of, Disney content coming on my channel hopefully very soon. So really looking forward to that. You guys know I have my cruise uh, in July. Um, but yeah, there's a little, little some something extra um, coming your way too. So um, yeah, anyway, make sure you're subscribed. <laughs> and uh, I'll speak to you guys next week. Hope you all have a lovely week. Enjoy the weather if you've got some good weather. And uh, yeah, take care of yourselves. As always, let me know in the comments down below how you guys are doing. And um, yeah, have a good week. See you next week. Bye.